uh, how was the transaction going on and we read a lot about it so we would like to hear from your mouth so how the negotiation went that uh, was a very interesting story so i got to tell you a little bit of okay. yeah. thing in about 5 minutes to build up to the whole story sure but uh, we were providing email to about 7 million subscribers at the time when uh, someone from microsoft called us and said is this really true you are providing email to 7 million subscribers we said yeah so we want to come and see how you do it so sure, sure come on over no problem and because microsoft at that time had microsoft network which had about 2 and 1/2 million subscribers and they were down every other week and there were news reports constantly msn is down again and they were getting really bad press <clears throat> so they came to us and it originally started off being a deal where we would provide email to their subscribers and because we had you know uh skillfully uh mastered the art of providing email to 7 million subscribers and so uh it originally started off being a business relationship but very quickly they realized that we wanted to be more than just an email provider and because we wanted to be more than an email provider uh they saw us as being competitive to their business and so that's when uh, you know the vp of microsoft called me up and said yeah this is turning out to be really difficult Have you thought about a merger between our two companies? She didn't say acquisition. <laughs> I said I haven't, but for the right price, I can think of anything. <laughs> so we were taken to meet with Bill Gates one day, and uh, that story is also a very interesting. It's uh, I started talking, and Bill was looking everywhere else but at me, and I thought he wasn't interested. But at the end of it, uh, he really uh, heard every word of what I had to say, and. Uh, when we were walking out he shook my hand and said you know what uh, i hope we can do something between our two companies otherwise we like to write software too <laughs> <laughs> so when i walked out there were like 14 people from microsoft on the other side and i knew if i opened my mouth and tried to negotiate then i'd be a dead duck so uh they started with you know 160 million offer at first So they wanted me to counter somehow and you know this was at a time when both Jack and my personal bank balance was just $5000 and somebody put 160 million in front of you and I refused to accept that and I kept negotiating till I so we countered back and forth and one time I think I turned away 350 million at which point even my parents deserted me <laughs> I called my dad up one time and he said so what's going on I said yeah they made an offer I said what happened I turned it down. How much was the offer? It was 350. It's 350 million. You know how much that's in rupees? I can't even put it on my calculator. <laughs> you accept it right now. <laughs> give give me his number. I'm like, no, no, forget it. So luckily a week later they called back and said, "You know what? I was asking for 450." And they said, uh, "Well, we can't match your 450, but how about we meet halfway?" So I said, "All right, I think it's a good idea. Let's do halfway." <laughs> and uh, that's